Quaso Adventure. Quaso. So, the description goes like this. Welcome to Quaso Adventure. A nice adventure movie park. Enjoy the deserts and jungles of Jumanji. Dive into the world of Encanto or, or explore the land of Faron from Dungeons and Dragons. The park has plenty to offer for entertainment. Every area has a coaster, multiple flat rides and food courts. Don't forget to get a souvenir at Elgin's Skips uh, after. When you enter the park, just follow the red carpet to the different areas and lastly, you can take a relaxing ride on the tour bus. We hope you enjoy Ferrero and Flo Merlin. And their dip's call was, as I said, Encanto. And I assume the other two movies we have are Jumanji and Dungeons and Dragons. Dragon. Yes. All right, I'm entering. Oh, what is that view there? We got a, a castle building. It stands on the top there. Oh. oh my God, is that Dude. Ferrero? <laughs> <laughs> Adventure awaits! I like the entrance though, it's cool. We invite yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very uh, welcoming. Argentina. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's telling you excitement's coming. Yes. Oh, wait, why? These are not turned around. No, but it's really hard to make it turn around. Well, you just, mo you just use the... You just turn the screen around, or the picture around before you put it in the folder, yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah, I agree. Well, you have right. to, the trick is to, like, rename it before you, uh, before you resave it, or yeah. else it'll keep thinking, it'll keep messing it up. But okay, so we got Dungeons and Dragons, Jumanji, and Kanto, guys. I think it's pretty clear, bro, you have to turn your head on the, on the, the side. The tour, and we got exit from something <laughs> here, okay, uh, let's uh, go the tour at the end. Yeah. Right. Oh, I like this little uh, mini plaza here, though. Ooh. So we got Jumanji there. I can see Encanto there. Oh, that looks pretty. Let's wait with that one at the cool. end. Yeah, that one is at the end. Oh, I see La Casa Maria. Yes. Mm. Exciting. Slow, and calm I like the... down, boy, man. <laughs> Enjoy. Breathe in, breathe out. As I said. Okay? Just... It's okay, Flo. <laughs> I just put too much pressure on everyone. We got Elgin Skips. Okay, I gotta be honest, I watched Dungeons and Dragons, the movie. It's really fun. I... I don't know, man. I... Uh, it's, it, it, it's fun. It didn't... It's like a kid's movie. Yeah. It sounds like Wix's expectations are gonna be lower on Dungeons and Dragons, so he's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the movie. Wow. I saw. The new movie, it was... I. I thought it was gonna. I don't know. It was me. All right. I haven't seen it. Bring peace. But I don't know oh, anything God, about Dodgers and Dragons in the first place. Like I don't know Baldur's Gate, and that's I know it. the game. Oh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Well, that's literally that. But yeah, I like this little interior shop he has here, with like the the straw and the evils coming out from uh, like kind of like making like their packs and uh, instead of walls. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice little souvenir shop here. Very cute, very simple. Yes. Very accessible. Cool view you get you you have from uh, the outside though here. And nobody here to help us. I mean, what's going on with that? Right. There should be an NPC here. We should have been talking to or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Let's move in here first, guys. Let me some fantasy Let's... stuff. Yeah. Let's go in. What? What is whoa, what is that? Oh, wow. It's like a pigeon. He's he's the owlbear revenge. The, it's the owlbear, dude. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm a couple of I'm a, like a few seconds behind you here. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. It's all good. That is very uh I don't know how it's supposed to look normal. Like that. <laughs> I know, but the fact that <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple way to make it look like it has feathers, like it really comes across. Oh yeah, 100%, I agree, I agree. I mean, it's a cool little flat he rider. He is chunky. He's very chunky. And of course it fits perfectly with the eagle ride here. 
And I like that it's yeah. actually just like placed in nature vibes, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's kind of nice. Great foliage work. Speak with Death or the Underdark? Ooh. Let's speak with Dead. So that's this right here. I honestly kind of like the uh, the elevate the levels of the mountain. Like I like how it adds the depth, especially with the trees on the top, and then have the tram going th uh, going across. That's really nice. That really feels like you're in nature. Yeah, exactly. Super cool. I like that they just went with that and just placed like a few uh, a few rides just down in, in nature uh, environment and. That's that, you know, pretty much. It it's works. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It works in this case, and honestly, if uh, like Dungeons and Dragons were a lot of forest and stuff, right? I mean, they're so I totally get why they they went with a theme like this. Yeah, and I think this, this how the um, the 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 flat rides they used are like simple and mechanical. It feels like uh, it feels fitting. Yes. Oh, this is a dog ride. It is. Oh, the on the dark ride. Oh shit! It's in the name daytime. I'm going nighttime. It said daytime. Where does it say that? Oh, inside the station. Well, I'm not in there yet, <laughs> so I'm just going daytime again now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't go. All right, the on the dark ride. Okay, here we go. Encanto in zoo could be like a lot of fun. Music definitely helps. It really does, Gerald. It really does. I agree. Yeah, it's a different ride without the music, for sure. With the music. Yes. I mean, there's still not a lot to watch, but the music still keeps you uh, suspend, you know, like a little... Yeah. Alright, but at least we got to hear it with the music that was intended. So, there you go, yeah. man. And I, think, and I think they wanted us to have the light on because of that water, now that yes. I'm thinking about it. Yes, yes. I'm, uh, I'm walking towards the forest uh, over to this big arch. I think we're going to uh, the main city, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, I see right that. There. That looks really, really cool. I like the... Wow. Yes. Look at all that. Do you have sun inside the city? No, do you? No, I don't. So is this like also oh. something missing or? Got a coaster. Never winter flights entrance. Okay. And I love these streets. I love this street. It's very nice. Very cozy. Exactly. Yeah. Look at that shot there going through the, the street there. Wow. It's really nice. It's very detailed. There is a lot to see and to explore. Yeah, and I love that the, the coaster, uh, like the interaction Goes by. the coaster does. It's just music. All right. Well, you can always uh, DM it to me, uh, Freyra, then we can uh, check it out later. 
in the spotlight if you want to oh i love the little uh i love the fun uh support system they got in here that's kind of funky this little shop oh yeah uh, kind of oh, interesting yeah. way of, of doing that Wow, I actually feel like I'm in like a big medieval like fantasy town. Like I can barely even see anything like from the outside. You know, it's cool like that. Yeah, that's the way we want to see things. Like when it comes to that kind of theming, so it's really nice and really detailed. Yes, we love and that. Time, you don't even have to build more if you like close the uh, the viewer in. You know, you're not gonna see as much stuff in the background, so you can put more detail in. The, exactly. the inner parts. That's true. Yes, I agree. We got a flow Merlin. Is that because you build this, maybe? Very nice. Who would like these little market stands here? Got a few floaters, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Merlin. This having this coaster's interaction with the whole theming is really, really nice, man. That's really cool. We got some horses. Oh, the, the drop is pretty nice. Oh, so this one, so this is where we come through the, the shop. So we come from this way. Ah. Yeah, I want to go on this coaster here. Let's, uh, let me go back and find uh, the entrance. Where's the entrance? I think it's over here. I'm running. I'm running. Isn't the bookstore? Don't run. It was this guy here, right? The fly. F the flight. Ne never winter flights. Entrance. Okay. So is this dark? Is this nighttime? Or there's no sign. So I assume it's just. It's just day now. I mean, if this is the DD section, yes. I'm still walking around in here. I'm going to queue. Got some magic stuff happening. Oh. Some magical books. Oh, I see that. I like this uh, queue here, though. Oh, they move for us. <laughs> <laughs> they know we're very important people. Move along, people. This is cool. I like how the flower bed is raised, so you're like standing almost next to it, and then it kind of like goes up above here. That's a cool uh, interaction. I like that. And I like this the uh, the royal foodie. Sounds like a place I like to go. Well, is what, there food? Well, what happens here? We go this way. Uh, yeah, it's it's a station, so you have to close like walk along the wall, and yes. you see the. Oh, here we oh. go! Boom! Alright, and then we'll go night time too. <laughs> Alright. I'm ready, are you ready? Yeah, I'm riding it. Oh. I'm late. Do, 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 Nice. Oh my god, move your hands! We'll do a, a track view after. Oh, very smooth there. Oh, that was a nice section. Oh, I like that. That was really nice. That was a good interaction with the, th with the scenery there. And you came so close to it. I'm going to take a track view now. So those hands were non -shit. Yeah, that was really great. I'll do a night as well after we do this. Yeah, this was actually a nice ride. The only thing I kind of would, uh, would have liked was that you it completely slowed down before you enter the second lift. Yeah, true. Like maybe a little brake section or something or yeah. Like this here. After this. Oh. This here. Boop. It would have been nice if you would have like made a, a little section where you took off all the speed so you didn't win in like that. But besides that, I really like the layout. It's very fun. I like how much it interacts with everything and it takes you around the whole town. It makes it make you feel like you go faster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love those close calls. Very nice. Very nice. Thank God that thing almost cost me my sanity. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shouldn't though, because you did a good job, man. Oh, nighttime? That's probably not so good, I guess. 
We'll do it anyway. We'll see. See you. It's fine. In the town and stuff, right? All right. Yeah, there we go. A little bit. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There is so cool to ride a coaster at night, dude. My god, it's so fun, man. Yeah. Especially if you can't see a lot. Like, honestly. <laughs> That's how it is with these coasters. They're always so dark. I mean, it's different to ride, like, go into a dark room with a coaster compared to actually riding it in, like, full nighttime. It's so fun. Have you ever seen a person put their hands in front of their face, like, in a god coaster? No, not like that, no. Wait, uh, wait, I mean, sometimes I do it, no? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels super weird, or maybe they're just very small. <laughs> maybe they're just small people, so whenever they take their hands up, we see them on the camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but this was uh, this was nice, though. Very, very, uh, I honestly say, like, very surprising uh, layout th this had. It's very cool. Where, yeah. Where am I? Where am I? Daytime. Uh... All right, uh, exit, exit here, perfect. And I like the station too. Very nice integrated into the town and they uh, like very highly detailed inside of it too. Super, super cool. For sure. I like that. And then we got a little uh, restaurant area here. Oh, where the coaster goes by. Oh, that's a cool thing. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, you saw it's, that? It's yeah, it's, it's always nice to have some interaction. Nice. Yeah, I love, I love yeah. that. There's also where here I would stand and be like, guys, wait for me. I just gotta have the footage for my vlog, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stand here for five minutes, wait for the coaster to come by for one second. It's all worth just... it, guys. I'm not that annoying, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that. But at least grab some food first. I mean, I, I, I mean, we can do that. That's all. <laughs> Fuck that! I can't say I'm not a coaster builder anymore. We just leveled up like that. Cool, cool. <laughs> I like this building here too. That's a cool one. There is like a, a lot to see in the direction is. Oh, that was a cool shot with the shadows there. Love that. Love this little interaction. Yeah, this has a lot of life. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. But it, it's just the, the the little balconies up above and all that stuff. It just brings everything to life so much. It does, doesn't it? Very nice. All right, I'm uh, walking down here the down to the blacksmith. And we're going through the coast area here where we were before, and then we are slowly going out again off uh, into the town. Wait, did, did I get close to that big tower in the back? Can we do that, or is it just... Oh, it's just a backdrop. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. Nice backdrop, too. Yeah, it's an awesome backdrop. I love that tower. Yeah. It's really cool. Do you guys recognize stuff from the movie in this uh, area? I only recognize the, like, Never Winter, I know that from the movie, and um, mm -hmm. I gotta say, as I said, I felt the movie was, yeah, so maybe I didn't give it so much attention as I should have. Yeah, but this shot here, man, with the, the coaster, the, the air balloon, and the coaster coming from uh, that shop there, too, really epic, man, really epic. It's really nice. Yeah. Oh, we got the, the Royal, f oh, that's the way we just were, never mind. All right. I'll go through the the shop over here. Oh, oh. that's where the shop. Also, like okay. these, these guys, by the way. Yeah, that's the shop you go through. So apparently, that's also transitioning. Nice. Which is, is kind of nice. Nice uh, interior or uh, ceiling. Uh, this is sometimes literally just what you need to do, just to have a nice ceiling. Just like put some some supports up there, and you're good to go. This and shot. This shot when you come from this, wow! Holy shit! It yeah. looks pretty impressive when you go out of the shop. Yeah, that's a cool shot, dude. So I much. I like the custom balloon. Yeah, that's really nice. I gotta say though, and I'm saying this with like love and all. But for the love of God, why did you leave this like this up here? You mean the castle? The castle. That is yeah. That is such uh, I would rather just have removed it then. And I don't I don't even remember seeing a castle in Jumanji. Well, I think this is the second one. 
Yeah, it's the there, snow. There, there's, like a, there's like a castle on like the snow mountain. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because if, if they just that. gave it like some, uh, one of the, like those uh, castle vibe and stuff, maybe a few round tower on the side, it would have helped so much, but just this is just... Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's, that's a shame. It's a shame, is what I'm at saying. At least like, a sleek roof. Yeah. Jumanji, the next level. Oh my god, the ostriches. Ha! <laughs> Amazing. Okay, this area, this area is kind of cool from here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like the music. Yeah, the music is so calm. Oh, there's an arcade. There we have a nice poster. Nice. Got a little, yeah, a little arcade here. The music is the big. Are we going through the exit right now or? Uh, no, I'm just walking actually. Oh yeah, we are. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go in it though. I like the little uh, small uh, store here too, like underneath it all. It's a crazy station. Alright, going on on, going on it! Why do you yeah. go in a queue if you have to pee that much, woman? God damn it! <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't matter how many bathrooms you put, there's always people oh. struggling on the, on the lines. Yes, that was a cool shot too. This shot here though... Wow. Really nice. People like this ride apparently, it's a good cue. Very nice uh, shot you get here. Right, we're almost up. And we're in. Nice. The view from the station is pretty amazing. Yeah, totally. it's, a cool, it's a freaking cool view, I gotta say, yeah. It's like just, it's like perfectly made. So you get everything in one shot. Oh. You know? Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's Bumper? Yes, from Bumper. Oh no, a seat. I'm riding seat. Okay. We'll do both. some uh, uh, some clipping and stuff but we look past yeah that. you're doing from bumper I'm doing from bumper now yeah all right like I like the whole uh, again like how you like you go out of the mountain you go in again out like I love the whole like situation uh -huh. this co uh, this coaster is doing there are obviously some some sections I feel they are a little bit wonky but Again, I have the same feeling as to that ride. But we talked about it after that. 
Yeah, like some of the caves you drive through or the tunnels would have a little bit more. Like yeah. having cool interaction with tunnels and stuff sometimes is just everything, man. Yeah, the coaster itself is great, but just those, those little extra touches. Yeah. I also think we're gonna skip nine of this one, doesn't look like there's anything. Front bumper is definitely better on this guy. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very short for thieving. I agree. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The story of Jumanji is so full of like animals and stories and like, that's a bit sad. Yeah, I feel like they... Uh... Because the coaster has some old potential, like like you said, going through the tunnel, going out, but even like there is no much of like environment. Yeah, like, yeah, like the terrain work too, like how the coaster goes and all, it's yeah. really nice and... It the composition is. Is, is gorgeous, but yeah, I, I just wish there would be uh, a little bit more touches here and there, a little bit more things, like even like just palm trees and stuff. The interactions yeah. going through this cave here, you could have like added uh, tropical rocks and foliage and all that stuff in here just to give it, I'm not saying fill up the entire cave, but you know, yeah, subtle, yeah. subtle touches here and there. And I get it. Yeah, and there's the whole thing in the movie when they're on like the snow mountain. There's a whole like mountain army up there and stuff. There's uh, there's a lot going on. In yeah. The snow scene. Yeah, Jumanji is always a mess. There's a, always something happening, like, and there is a lot of joke and humor. So it's just, you know, like the castle, not not complete. Yes. Yeah, it's a shame because it really makes, as I say, a good composition. What they, yeah. they, what they've done. It, uh... Yeah, I like the layout of the land because it's like the way like things like feed into each other and the tram going over. It's really well done. Yes. It's, I yeah. like this section here when you come out from the the queue though. This looks like finished, you know, like looks nice and subtle. You got the music. You got a little bit of clutter. It's a good vibe here. I love the colors from uh, Encanto though. Amazing. This is Jumanji, yeah. Okay, Shane, see you, man. See you, Shane. I love when Ghost of Sexual make okay. you think it's gonna turn one way and goes another. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. So I think that was it for the Jumanji area, right? I think that's it, yeah. I do love how the tram ride uh, drives around though. That looks I can't wait cool. to see what the tram is gonna take us. Yes. Alright, Jürgen's journey was that. That was awesome. Now we have... I wonder what Encanto offers. I'm ready for it. Oh my god, this is the... Yeah, oh, I love this. Right, right, right. Sorry. I'm excited. Hey, Mr. Dice, what's up, man? Encanto, guys. Really pretty. This is uh, Ferrero and Flo's uh, dips picked so this is obviously the area that people uh, i assume or i'm guessing use most time on or effort on so i'm excited here this already looks amazing and yeah, that house looks spot on yep exactly it's already like very colorful and very inviting yes magical and the music here too Magical, fantastical. Nope, we said it. Uh, <laughs> can we talk about Love it now? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a great section, man. It's pretty. Ah, oh, look how pretty this looks. 
And I love that they put a little bit on a hill, like to level it up, so it, it kind of gives a better eye. Oh, I love how they did the detailing there. Look at that. That is a great shot right here. Look at that. I love the use of the uh, the Asia pieces here. I've not seen someone use this as like this situation before. It really works, doesn't it? It does. It does. Really works well. I like that. And I also love this here. We saw this on Kicks too yesterday. Like this whole mix and match with the smaller uh, rock pieces. It really does a difference, guys. To Casa Madrias is. Yeah, I'm going inside. Antonio. Antonio! We do not talk about Bruno. Oh, Bruno. So it's a little restaurant, a little Mexican thing. That's kind of cute. Right at night. Yes. Oh, we got a lot of rides here, huh? Oh, Isabella or Bruno, huh? Oh, where should we go? Isabella first? Uh, yeah, ladies first. Ladies first. So Isabella is the one with the power so with the flowers. Is everything night in here, mm. or is it only that side of where? It's probably everything. I don't know. You can do everything at night. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Just. As a, I don't know if you know. Have you seen the movie? I've seen the movie. Yeah, all the movies. Uh, all right, have the candle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The candle is there. Wow, the, that is pretty, yeah, man. Something. Look at that. Wow, that's where and my they, frame is going. Yeah, they really felt uh, captured like the vastness of that room in that scene. Yeah, that's epic, man. Holy that's shit. Pretty. You did good here, guys. This is amazing. So pretty. I love the lights on the side there too, inside the flowers. Oh wow! The... And this ride fits perfectly for that. Yeah. Really cute. That is super cute. I like that. That's awesome. So so cool. All right, moving on. Is it Bruno time? I Bruno think time. We, we, I think we can talk about Bruno now. It's, it's, it's time to talk about Bruno. Is this Bruno? Bruno? It is Bruno. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh my God! Is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Oh, look at him! Look at his uh, uh, thing here. Oh, like we're in the walls. Okay, yeah. I get you. Yeah, we're behind <laughs> the walls now. That is cool. That's kind of that's kind of nice how they did that, man. He's rats upon his back. Yes. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's awesome. And then like having this ride symbolizing, he like runs around the the seal or uh, the yeah, you know I me, mean, the walls. Yeah, I know. Like he walk around the the house and behind the wall, seeing everybody like. Yeah, I like this. Having a life, it's not. That's super nice, though. Really, really nice. Really nice, yeah. That's I awesome. I don't know. We did the Encanto section. I think it's slow, right? Maybe both of them did? I'm actually Maybe. quite curious, yeah, to hear how people did that because the dipsed one, I feel like both of y'all kind of wanted to build something. For, for the one you both dipsed, you know? So I'm assuming maybe you each one had an area uh, yourself and then the one shared. That's what I would have done it at least if, if that. Yeah, so exactly. That's what me and Dandy did with, when, with our um, duo. Like we each built one and then like built one together. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Antonio, let's go into Antonio. We're going to Antonio? Antonio, yes. Ooh, this okay. is nice. Because the view it's pretty amazing from the from the balcony. Yeah, I'll check that after. Oh, Antonio! Antonio, oh, it's, it's the kids, kitty. right? Yeah, it's a kitty coaster. Whoa! Oh wow! Pretty. Right. See, this is exactly the things we just were talking about before. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Like we have mm. something to see. There is like. Lots of vegetation. Yes. I think Antonio is the one with all the animals. So it's like forestry. 
Yeah. Love it. It's great. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, I, I am walking towards now. the coast. I'm waiting for the coaster to come here. I love a good kitty coaster. I love when people. Uh, I mean, the man, you know, they don't yeah. try to go too nuts. I mean, yesterday we had a crazy kitty coaster, man. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. wild. <laughs> So crazy. Oh, there it is. Alright. Get out, please. It's my turn now. Uh, are you going bumper? I am going uh, bumper first, yes. Okay. And then we'll take. Uh, then I'll take a ride at, at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Only nature. This is nice. Goodbye. Yes. Only nature? Uh, yeah, Antonio's the one with the animals. Gotcha. It's been a minute since I watched in country though. Like I think when it came out, I saw it, and then. But I remember yep. it being a, a very, uh, one of the better Disney movies they've put out lately. Yeah, true. If you guys still, uh, if you guys, some of you still haven't watched, there's a movie called The Magician's Elephant on Netflix. Mm. It's a it's a really good movie, uh, cartoon. It's really nice. Almost feel like Disney is almost. I mean, Flo, did you make this coaster? It's not bad, dude. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah, man. I like this little area here. Oh, I like this. Very cool. Let's, um,. Seed view, and then let's go the last car. Let's go the last car. Thanks for the follow, Chico Games. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are right now looking at um, Quasu Adventure by Flo <laughs> Berlin and, uh, and Frero. Quasu. Quasu. What? Oh, here we go. Back seat. Back. Oh my god, those hands. I want to cut them off. I wonder how you know what I mean? It's, just, it's, just, it's an unnatural movement. Like the. Yeah. It's really odd. I <laughs> want to do that. I honestly like this uh, the kid coaster here, Flo. It's a great job. Honestly, it, it has the perfect layout for a kid coaster and length too. So yeah, I don't see. Uh, I think it's great. Hell yeah! Well, it's great with all the all the foliage and everything. It's great. Yes. Oh, we're here now. Oh boy. Uh, maybe we should still go inside here. And the exit is uh, still this way out, right? Yeah. It's the same way out. Yes. Awesome. That was nice. That was pretty cute. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And Kanto is 100% my favorite area so far in this park. This uh, sex just area here feels... Uh, yeah, just finished. Yeah, I agree. Yep. 100% finished. Really, really like that. Oh. It's, it's really. Oh, I, I had to look down at the. Look down in the, from the balcony, right? Yep. I went up there, and then there we go. Yeah, look at that shot. Wow. That's really nice. Especially also in daytime. Let me try That's that. Great. Yeah, look at that shot. So much depth, man. Wow. So awesome. This is a cool freaking shot. Really feels like a theme park, doesn't it? I I hope that Disney take note of that, right? Like, and we can explore one day, like like Encanto, like we did explore in this park. 
Well, they're talking about maybe in uh, in Magic Kingdom in Orlando. That's uh, they released that concept art for doing Encanto in Orlando. Oh yeah. But we'll see, yeah. So we'll see if that happens. Who knows with these uh, concept arts they share? They don't really usually go anywhere, but yeah, it, it, kinda, it would be it would be good. I feel you, man. Wow, Where this is was the so, this was so cool. Where's the donkey? Donkey. Yeah, where's the donkey? I want to see the donkey now. Flo, where did you hide the donkey? Got a little building here too. Wow, that Encanto house is really just spot on, isn't it? It's really nice, man. Give me that shot there. Wow, sir. Uh, favorite area favorite. so far. Yeah, favorite area, 100%. Colors, everything. There is even, no donkey. Even the bridge is custom made. Did you see that? Wow. So nice. Yeah. Wow. Very really well done. I want to see the I want to see the building here outside at night too. You didn't get to see that. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's really nice. I thought I feel like though a little bit of a. On, on the bottom could have been nice, but this works too. Great composition yeah. again. Really, really cool, guys. You you nailed this area. 100%. You don't realize or think that there's something in here besides, uh, besides the house. Yeah. When you go in and there's actually three hidden uh, gems in there, you know? It's kind of kind of epic. Oh, yeah. The way it's laid out, it doesn't feel like you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, that was that, and then we have the little plaza here, which I kind of think is really nice too. It really, uh, it really like it's kind of like they mixed all three uh, genres with each other in a way, right? And yeah, then there's a a camera person on the top there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they kind of like have the barrels, and then like a little bit like medieval fantasy, and then they mix it up with some Jumanji adventure stuff. It kind of works. Yeah, and how round it is is really uh, is really nicely balanced as well. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm looking from the top now too. It really helps you to know where you're going. Yeah. Yes, exactly. If you f just follow this right, then uh, you should be there. You need a freaking hand janitor in here, man. God damn it! <laughs> and somebody to work in that store. Yep. Because if I want to buy something, uh, I'm gonna be out of luck. All right, last ride of the day or uh, of uh, this park here is the tour. The tour! The tour! And we're gonna do as we did yesterday. Because that seemed like to be the, the go the go to thing here. Yeah. Right? Right? Ah, oh, cool! Oh, nice! You get to see all the rooms with the tram? Yeah, I didn't even notice it when we were in there. That's really cool. Oh, wow! That's really nice. Like it's a little bit too fast to hold. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. fast. It's like, oh look at, oh never mind, oh no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Be appreciate during those uh those the uh, tunnel times. Yes. I do like how it interacts with all the areas. You get some nice uh, viewing points from uh, from some spots. It's really nice. I like the song. All right, that was the tram. It is a nice. bomb. I 
I feel like we should, uh, I don't know how much there is to see, but I kind of want to try Night Time. And I kind of low-key want to listen to the song again. <laughs> oh yeah, Night Time is also a vibe, isn't it? Night Time is everything. Hell yeah. I think it's cool that you also get to uh, you drive through the dock, uh, the the ride there, and you can see through it like here. That's so nice. Very cool. Yeah, detail. it gives you that like behind the scenes peek. Like yeah. With, uh, like a tram ride should. Like This look feels so realistic in the way you, the way you look. This like in this tram right here. Behind the scene is pretty nice. It is. It's a nice. I like this ride. It's a cozy ride, man. there yeah guys I love it man yeah, great work on this great great work indeed that was uh, that was really uh, really really cool guys I think you guys are being way too hard on yourselves and I think you guys delivered a very very epic park uh, gentlemen of course we had a few suggestions that obviously would have more or less would have make done, everything better done a few things extra for you guys um but i i do love like of course Encanto is 100 percent my favorite area and i love what you guys did with it like the open rooms the f that's such a cool idea i love how immersive this whole fantasy dungeon uh, dungeon and dragons uh city was and also that you have a little forest area kind of like to implement and kind of like balance it all off uh, the three titles you picked I also think is uh, very cool they offers a little bit of everything uh, you have like very you have crazy colors like the very like pop-up uh, very happy tombs and then you got like uh, the the adventure kind with uh, Jumanji and then you got the medieval fantasy stuff with Dungeons and Dragons and I think you guys did one hell of a job uh, you did good you did very very nice. Yeah, I agree. I think my favorite was the um, the medieval area in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, that was they really really. I like I just like the streets of it. Yeah, this, yeah, the street was really nice, and also how much the coaster interacted with uh, with everything, right? Yeah, and the coaster is probably my favorite ride in the park. This coaster. Yeah, it was a good ride, hundred uh, percent. From my side, uh, I'm going like you, Wix. I'm going like. Encanto, this is one hell of a good job. You you recreate the ambience and the aura around Encanto really well, Flo. You should be really proud of yourself. I really loved it. And the other area, um, I feel like the medieval one was the second one on my top. Uh, Jungle Cruise was a bit lacking of element of surprise and some, not Jungle Cruise, <laughs> Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it's yeah, so pretty. And Flo, please, please, if it's not too heavy, can you just uh, blueprint the house? Because it's really cute and really help other people to make an encantoria. Yeah, it's awesome. And also, as you say, I'm looking at the candle now that uh, we're in the in the window. Yep. Up there, looking. So. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm not opening this ever again. I, oh, I, tot yes, you will. I totally agree. Uh, I, I I understand, Flo. I understand. But you did that. You, you did good, guys. Like as I say, there's always room for improvement. Always, uh, even for uh, the, the the best of the best when it comes to it. 
And yeah. I think... And one last thing. Yeah? I was going to say, and I think the, the one thing that I think was uh, really impressive with the Encanto house was how they integrated all the rides in there, yet it didn't take away from, like, the form of the house. That's easy to, like, have to stretch out the house or, yes. you know, do something, you know, and they, they did a really good job there. I 100% yeah. agree with that. That was, uh, that was epic, how they did that. Yeah, and I'm really honest when I'm saying, like, this is the way I'm seeing, like, like Starship, uh, like said, uh, Disney is gonna do it. This is the way I want to see it, like going on the street and having the Casa Madrias on top, yeah. and like meeting, meeting greets and all that stuff happening. This is really the way I want to see it. So really good job on that. Yeah, really good job. And as Star also says, such a massive challenge, time, theming, immersion, integration, movies, polishing, is far from easy and you guys can be proud. And they can, 100%. I agree. Well done. And Encanto is definitely my uh, my favorite favorite area. Well done, uh, Ferrero and Flo. Yes, well done, guys. Good job, fellas. Well done, well done. Good job.